Hi, lovely people. My name is Tete J. Kepsi Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion on vectors will be, ve will be finding vector equations. So, before the video will end today, I will revise your knowledge on the general equation of a line. Then we will learn how to find a vector equation given the Cartesian equation of a line. Then we will learn how to find a vector equation when two points are given. Then, we will do the opposite. Now, we will find a Cartesian equ equation when a vector equation is given to us. This will be a very interesting engagement. So, please watch the video till the end. So, we know that the general form of the equation of a line is giving us y equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient or the slope. So that's the gradient, and C is the intercept, is the intercept of the y-axis. Okay, so now we know the gradient M, which is the slope, is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is the same as the change in y over the change in x, which we are aware of. Now we say, for intercept, for intercept of y as x, x is equal to zero, which we are also aware of. So with this, in the general form of the Cartesian equation of a line, we don't have problem. So, the, the general form of the Cartesian equation of a line is giving us ax plus by plus c equal to zero. So, we want to rewrite this equation to look like that. So, we say ax plus by plus c equal to zero. So, our by will be equal to negative ax minus c. One will divide both sides by b. Our y will be equal to negative a over b, x minus c over b. Where negative a over b is the gradient. So we say that m is equal to negative a over b, which is the change in y over the change in x. So, this as a directional, we we'll want to write m as a directional vector, maybe m as a dash, directional vector. You know, we write directional vectors as this is equal to x then y. Then we know that this is for y and this is for x. Then we can rewrite this as a directional vector in the form b negative a. I hope you get that. Because this is the value of x and that's the value of y. Because it's changing y over the change in x. So our directional vector m will be b negative a. Or we can write it as b negative a. Also, also, if we have uh, uh, an equation as a, okay, let me use this. If we have an equation, y is equal to negative a over bx minus c over b, and we want to find the intercept of the x-axis, the y-axis. So we say intercept, the intercept of y-axis, x is equal to zero. So let's substitute x is equal to zero into this equation. y will be equal to negative a over b times zero minus c over b. So our y will be equal to negative c over b. Then we can say that the intercept point will be 0, negative c over b. That's s is 0 and y is negative c over b. Then the equation of the line, uh, the vector equation of the line, the vector equation r of t will be giving us this point, the intercept here, that's 
0, negative c over b. Then plus c times the directional vector, the directional vector, which is b negative e. Or let's write it this way, b negative e, which can be rewritten as r of t equal to 0, negative c over b, plus, sorry, this place is t, t, plus t, b, b negative e. Then this becomes the vector equation of this line. Of this line. I, I hope you get that. We'll take some sample equations and we'll see how we find the vector equation given the Cartesian form of the line. So let's say our first question. Find the vector equation of the line y equal to 2 over 5x plus 7. So how do we find the vector equation? Remember, so if the line is there, it does a general form of a line. So the gradient there will be 2 over 5. And remember, gradient is a change in y over the change in x. So the directional vector m, okay, will be equal to 5, 2. Remember, this is the x and that's the y. So we write it, we write directional vectors x, y, x before y, which will be, what is our x, 5, and our y, 2. So the 7 is the intercept of the y axis. So we say that point P will be 0, let's say 7. That's when s is 0, y will be 7. Now our vector equation, r of t, will be this point, which is 0, 7, plus t, times the directional vector, which is 5, 2. Then this becomes the vector equation of this line. Very easy. Very, very easy. We'll solve another example so that you'll be abreast with the concept. So let's say our second question. Our second question says we should find the vector equation of the line 3y equal to 2x plus 12. So we have to first rewrite this line to look like y equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient. So now our 3y is equal to 2x plus 12. So I'll divide both sides by 3. We'll get 2 over 3x. Then 12 divided by 3 will be 4. Then our gradient m, which is equal to the change in y over the change in x, is equal to 2 over 3. Then the directional vector m, okay, will be the directional vector m, which is x, y, would then be equal. What's our s3? So 3, comma 2. Now, what will be the intercept? Remember, for the intercept of y as is s is 0. So the intercept point P will be 0, 4. Then, our equation, our vector equation, r of, r of t, will be equal to the point, which is 0, 4 plus t times the directional vector, which is 3, 2. Very easy. I hope, I hope you, you understand this. We'll solve another example so that you'll be abreast uh, with it. So let's say our third question. Please pause the video and try solving it. They say, find the vector equation of the line 2y minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. So please, first, try writing the line to look like that y equal to mx plus c, where m is the gradient. So our 2y minus 6x plus 1 is 0. Our 2y will be equal to 6x minus 1. So I'm divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by the, that will be uh, 3x minus half. Now our gradient m, which is giving us the change in y over the change in x will be equal to 3. Remember this 3 is over 1. Very, very necessary. So 3 over 1. 
Then our directional vector m will be, which is written as x y, will be one, one, three. Now what will be the intercept of the y axis? The intercept of the y axis x is zero. So I will put one substitute x equal to zero here. So we we'll get y equal to three times zero minus half. Three times zero is zero. So we have y equal to negative half. Then the intercept point P will be zero negative half. Then our vector equation R of T will be equal to the point zero negative half plus T times the directional vector one. I, I hope you understand that you got the same answer uh, with mine. The next thing we'll do is that we'll find the vector equation when two points are given to us. So, is it finding the, the next thing is finding the vector equation when two points are given to us. Say, let's say two points x, A is x1, y1 and B is x2, y2. How do we find the vector equation? So, the vector equation, okay, which is maybe R of T, okay, will be equal to any of these points in a vector form. Let's say A. So we say O A plus T times the directional vector A B. And how do we find this directional vector A B? A, B is the directional vector of A, the point A and B. Now look at this. If we have this triangle, okay, and this is our O, and this is A, okay, and this is B, remember from vectors, we said that O, A plus O, A plus A, B, will be equal to OB, the triangular property of vectors. Now I want to make AB the subject. AB will be equal to OB minus OA. Very, very important. So if we find this directional vector and any of the points, we can be able to, with any of the points, we can be able to find the vector equation. Please, you can use OB. It can also be R of t equal to O B plus T times the directional vector of A and B. I hope you get that. We'll take some sample questions and we'll put this into practice. Okay, so let's look at our first question. Find the vector equation of the line that passes through the points A, which is 2, 5, and B, negative 3, 6. So say the vector equation R of T will be equal to any of these points. So let's say O A I'm using you can use O B then plus T times the directional vector of the points A B. And remember, we said A B the directional vector A B will be equal to O B minus O A. So the directional vector A B will be equal to what's our O B? Our O B is negative 36 minus OA, which is 2, 5. So our AB will be equal to negative 3 minus 2 will be negative 5. And 6 minus 5 is 1. Then our vector equation, R of T, will be equal to, remember we said OA plus, or you can use OB. So what's our OA? 2, 5. So we have 2, 5, then plus T times the directional vector AB and the directional vector is negative 5, 1. Then this becomes the vector, the vector equation of the line that passes through these two points. I, I, I hope you got that. We'll solve one more example on this so that you'll be abreast with it. So our next question is on scalar vectors. Please, you can pause the video and try solving and see if you'll get the answer. When we finish, you unpause the video and compare answers with mine. They say, what is the vector equation of the line that passes through the points A equal to 3i minus 6j and B equal to 4i minus 12j? 
So we say the vector equation r of t will be equal to any of the points first. Let's say a plus t times a directional vector a b. And what will be our directional vector? Remember, the directional vector will be equal to o b minus o a. So our directional vector a b. What's our o b? Our o b is 4i minus 12j minus OA. OA is 3i minus 6j. So our directional vector AB will be equal to 4i minus 12j minus 3i when I open this bracket plus 6j. So our directional vector AB will be equal to 4i minus 3i. I'm grouping like this. Minus 12j plus 6j. So the directional vector AB will be equal to 4i minus 3i will be i. And minus 12j plus 6j will be minus 6j. Then our vector equation R of t will be equal to the point A which is 3i minus 6j plus t times the directional vector which is i minus 6j. Then this becomes a vector equation of the line that passes through these two points. I hope you have the same answer. So let's look at another example on three directional space. Say so what is the vector equation of the line that passes through the point P equal to 7i minus 3j plus 5k and Q equal to negative 2i plus 8j plus k. Please pause the video and try and see if you can solve that. So we say the vector equation R of t will be equal to any of the points. So I'm using P plus t times the directional vector PQ, the directional vector of P and Q. So how do we find the directional vector? The directional vector PQ is OQ minus OP. So PQ plus our OQ, our OQ is negative 2i plus 8j plus k minus OP. OP is 7i minus 3j plus 5k. So find PQ to be equal to negative 2i plus 8j plus k. Then we, we open this bracket minus 7i plus 3j minus 5k. So PQ will be equal to negative 2i. I'm grouping like that. Negative 2i minus 7i plus 8j plus 3j plus k minus 5k. So PQ, the directional vector, negative 2i minus 7j will be negative 9i. Negative 2i minus 7i will be negative 9i. 8j plus 3j will be 11j. Then k minus 5k will be minus 4k. That becomes our directional vector. Then the vector equation of those two points, that of the line that passes through the two points, R of t, will be equal to our p, which is 7i minus 3j plus 5k, then plus t times the directional vector, which is negative 9i plus 11j minus 4k. I hope you have the same thing uh, as mine. I hope you understand this thing. Please play over the video and I know you'll get a concept. The next thing we'll be doing is that if the Cartesian equation is given to us, the, if the vector equation is given to us, how do we find the Cartesian form of that vector equation? So please come with me. So when we started this, we look at a situation when the Cartesian equation of a line is given to us for us to find the vector equation of that line. Now, when the vector equation is given, how do we find the Cartesian form of that vector equation of that particular line? So we say that the general form of the Cartesian equation of a line is giving us ax plus by plus equal to zero. Now, let's say we have a vector equation r of t equal to ab plus t times cd, where cd is a directional vector. Very, very necessary. 
and we can say we have all what you need to find the Cartesian form of the vector equation is the normal of the directional vector. And what is the normal? The normal is just the, 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 the negative reciprocal of the directional vector. So, we said that the point, we have the point AB and the directional vector N is equal to CD when we're doing the vector equation. So now, what we need the normal of this directional vector. So the normal N, let's say N, will be equal to C. We'll swap this and negate any one of them. So we say the, the negative reciprocal of the directional vector. We negate any one of them. So we can have D, comma, negative C. Or the directional vector can be negative D, comma, C. Just swap their positions and negate one of them. That becomes the normal. So with the normal and this point AB, we can find the Cartesian form of that vector equation. So we take some sample questions and we we'll see how we we'll apply this. So our first question says, find the Cartesian equation of the vector equation R of t equal to 0, 4 plus t times 3, negative 4. So we know that the Cartesian form of every line is giving us ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Now we have the point 0, 4. And the directional vector is this. The directional vector n is 3, negative 4. 3, negative 4. Now we need a normal. The normal n of this vector, directional vector, will just be the swap. Then we negate one. So I'll swap 4, 3. Then I will negate. I will negate the negative 4. I will get positive 4. Any one you want to negate, you get the same answer. So now, this becomes your A and this becomes your B. We substitute into the general form of the Cartesian equation. So when we substitute, you get 4x. So in place of a, we substitute 4. In place of b, we substitute 3. Plus 3y plus c equal to 0. This is, becomes a Cartesian equation of the line. However, we need a constant c. So how do we get a constant c? We substitute the point 0, 4 into, the, into it. Then we find c. So x is 0 and y is 4. So get 4 times 0 plus 3 times 4 plus c equal to 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12 plus c will equal to 0. So our c will be equal to negative 12. Then the Cartesian equation of the line will be, so we have 4x plus 3y plus c. So we have 4x plus 3y. What's our c? Minus 12 will be equal to 0. Then this becomes a Cartesian form of this vector equation. I, I hope I hope you understand. We'll solve another example. So please pause the video and try to see if you can solve the next equation. Say, find the Cartesian equation of the vector equation of the form R of t equal to 2 negative 5 plus t times 2, 1. So you compare answers with mine. We know that the Cartesian equation of every line is in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Then, we know the point P to be 2, negative 5. And the directional vector M, okay, to be 2, to be 2, 1. What do we need? We need the normal of this directional vector. So the normal N the normal n will be equal to, we swap the position of this and this. We swap the position of 2 and 1. Then we negate one of them. That's a negative reciprocal. So we have 1, comma, negative 2. I swap the opposition. And this becomes your a, and this does b. We substitute that. So in place of a, we substitute 1. So we get 1 times x. Then b is negative 2. So minus 2y plus c is equal to 0. 
you have x minus 2y plus c equal to z. We need to find c. So how do we find c? We substitute the point 2, negative 5 into the equation. Then we find c. x is 2, y is negative 5. So we have 2 bracket, 2 times negative 5 plus c equal to 0. So two, negative 2 times negative 5, that will plus 10 plus c equal to 0. So 12 plus c will be equal to 0. c will be equal to negative 12. Then, remember the vector, the Cartesian equation is this. That's x minus 2y plus c equal to 0. Where c is negative 12. So I have x minus 2y minus 12 equal to 0. Then this becomes the Cartesian equation of this vector. So if you remember, the first question we solve on the, the equation of the line was given to us for us to find the uh, vector equation. We had this, if you remember very well. Now I want to see if we'll get the equation back. We'll get the equation of the line back, giving this a vector equation. So please, before we do that, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are here to, and click on the notification bell so that if I post most of this, you'll be the first to receive it. Now let's see how we solve that. So now we know that the general form of the uh, any Cartesian equation of a line is ax plus by plus c equal to zero. So we know a point here to be 0, 7, and the directional vector is 5, 2. So the directional vector n is 5, 2. What do we need? We need the normal. The normal of the directional vector. We solve the position of this and, and negate 1. So I'll, I'll have 2, negative 5. You can negate the 2 and leave the 5. It's the same thing. So what do we do? We, this becomes A and B, you substitute. So when we substitute, you get 2x minus 5y plus c equal to 0. How do we get a constant c? We substitute the point 0, 0,7 into it. We get 2x is 0 and y is 7. So times 7 plus c equal to 0. 2 times 0 is 0. So we have negative 35 plus c equal to 0. Our c will be equal to negative. Our c will be equal to 35. So now we substitute the c into here. Then we get our equation. So we get 2x minus 5y plus 35 equal to 0. We can rewrite this. Let's see if we we'll get that our equation that was given. Then negative 5y will be equal to negative 2x minus 35. One divided through by negative 5. What will be equal to 2 over 5x plus so 2 over 5x plus 35 over 5. So what will be equal to 2 over 5x plus 7. If you remember very well, this was the equation of the line that was given to us and we find this vector. This uh, vector equation. Now the vector is, equation is given. We are able to find the equation of the line. So please, we'll end it here today. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you are here too. Bye bye.